Hey everyone, it's Laura, and today I'm going to show you one way that you can paint your mushroom. You can paint these little mushrooms in any way that makes you happy. You can use pastels, you can use bright colors, you can use more natural colors. Depending on which kit you chose, you will have some paint in there that you can decide what order you want to use it in, whether you want to blend it with another color, it's up to you completely. I decided I wanted a neon mushroom because it's fun. So I'm just painting the cap of the mushroom a solid color using just regular acrylic paint. I'm not taping anything off or doing anything too exciting here because this is just the first coat. Um, but what I'm not going to do is paint the stem because I have a plan for the stem. A lot of times wild mushrooms will have a different colored lid or cap, top, I don't know, than their stem. And that is what I'm going for here. You can also paint gills um, underneath the mushroom cap. I did not do that with this project because I didn't think that anyone would see it. So once you've got your first coat of paint, you can use a blow dryer to dry it really quickly, or you can just leave it and let it dry completely on its own. I used too much paint on my paintbrush, as you can see, and so I'm trying to smooth it out so that it doesn't look gloppy. If you have the same problem, you can use your brush to lift some of that paint off and wipe it on the edge of your either plate you're using, whatever you're using as a palette, or bottle if you're using a bottle, like I am. So that's my lid done. Now, if you look up, um, Kawaii mushroom. It's K A W A I I, I think. Kawaii. Um, I am not ad adept in spelling things in Japanese, but I'm sure Google will correct that for you. Um, you can find art that people have done where they have painted little adorable mushrooms and then given them tiny cute faces. You might want to give your mushroom a tiny cute face, and I support that greatly. You do what you need to do because mushroom faces are cute. Mushroom faces are necessary for life. I did not do that with this mushroom. I just let it dry. And now I'm gonna do something called a dry brush technique. If you're gonna do dry brushing, you wanna make sure that your brush does not become completely saturated in either water or paint. So get a paintbrush out, dry it as much as you can, you can dip it in some paint and then brush most of the paint off onto the surface you're working on, provided that that is like this, a paper bag. That will let you get like wispy, um, not really solid lines when you're painting. So it will look like this mushroom just has like a faint hint of green along the bottom, um, like a blush as opposed to a harsh line. This is a good technique if you want to antique stuff too, like make paper look older. Whatever you feel like, you can use um, a dark brown or something, I don't know, reddish and go along the edge of a page or whatever you feel like to make it aged a little. It's up to you. So I'm just doing this like just a hint of green along the top of the cap or the bottom of the cap and I add a little to the top as well. Um, dry brushing is really nice because it dries almost instantly because you're putting on such thin layers. And this kind of turned out very faint on camera here because I was at home when I filmed this. I did not have, we're, we're in mid construction so my normal film setup was not, is no longer possible. So that is a uh, the current setup for the foreseeable future. Um, but then I'm taking some of the green and I'm dry brushing along the bottom. If you wanna add a face, I would add it using either a marker, like a permanent marker, or I would add it in pencil first and then go over it with a brush. Um, don't do anything permanent immediately. Now I wanted speckles. If you want to add spots to your to your mushroom, dip the back end of a very thin paintbrush or use a um, 
toothpick. If you want something a little bit bigger, you can use a Q-tip. You can use the tip of a pencil and you just dip it in paint. Make sure there's a good amount of paint just sticking on there and dot the top. You can do some big, some small. Try to be as random as you can um, so that it just looks like almost freckles. And this will look like it is a mushroom that, say, Alice in Wonderland might have, or the Smurfs. 